All right, folks, you got AD here from preparedham.com. We're going to do a quick little video to show you how to use the free Chirp programming software uh, that's uh, available for programming just about any ham radio out there. Um, today we're going to be programming the Baofeng uh, BF-F8HP radio that I wrote the review about a couple weeks ago, and this is going to show you how it works. Now, every uh, Baofeng radio or Waxun or Woshun, depending on how you want to pronounce it, has a special file format that the radio needs and that's preloaded at the factory so before you can send any data to the radio you need to actually download what the file format looks like first into chirp so what we're going to do is we're going to go to radio download from radio com port 3 this is a standard communications port i'm not going to go into how to get this program set up right now it's working um, if yours isn't you need to figure that out and i'll be putting out another video on how to do that uh, later so we're going to say okay get it from the radio just accept this box turn the radio off connect the mic and speaker phone uh, speaker connector uh, USB cable to the radio make sure it's firmly connected that's one of the problems I had is I didn't push it in all the way so you got to push it in turn the radio on the volume needs to be set at least 100 percent make sure there's no activity on that radio what I do is I pull my antenna off to make sure I'm not getting any interruptions uh, and then click OK to record from the device the happy 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 cloning window comes up and when you see this little bar going you know you're good if you get an error message at this point uh, it's probably a comm issue or a driver issue and you need to figure that out uh, before trying to move forward obviously so what's going to happen now is i'm going to get the actual raw data file from the radio so this is from the factory now that i've got that i can modify this i can upload new repeaters to it i can do anything else and if you look it goes from memory range 0 to memory range 127. It's one of the problems, not a problem, it's a drawback of this radio. Although they're cheap, they've got low um, memory uh, capability. My Yezu FT60 radio has a thousand memory channels, which is great, but uh, for a $60 radio with 8 watts, you can't, can't beat it. So, what we're going to do now, this is a base frequency. I'm going to go save as, and I've already done this, but I'm going to click this one again. It's the clean BF F8 HP image. You always want to have one of those clean backups that you can always refer back to to start if you get hosed up. And trust me, it'll happen when you try to manipulate things in these files. So we're going to save and I'm going to overwrite it and uh, we're happy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go, this is a cool feature of a chirp. We can go to several different uh, sources here on the internet and actually download repeater data directly from them. So what I'm going to do is go to repeater book. Uh, I picked f the state of Florida. There's many states here that you can uh, that you can select uh, from the drop down list. Uh, and I pick Canellas County and there's many counties obviously in Florida. And now for the bands, you've got 10 meters, 6 meter, 2 meter, 125, 70, 33, and 23 centimeters. Uh, the radios, the Baofang radio is only going to run right now for these repeaters on 2 meter and um, uh, 70 centimeters, but I'm going to report and just let them all come in and then uh, show you what happens later on uh, when we do that. So we're going to say OK. All right, so we're downloading data. Here that we go, and in Pinellas County alone, there's about 32, but you can see these down here are grayed out. For some reason, this one's grayed out. I need to find out from repeater um, book uh, why these are grayed out. I have a tendency to think that they are uh, in operation or un not operating at the current time. Um, so what we're going to do is you can see all the ones that are grayed out. There's no check mark. Since this is less than 125, we're going to accept all of them in and let them go in. And we're just going to say OK. Now, if you watch, before I click OK, watch what happens to these columns here and these numbers after I do this import. You're going to see W4ACS, so Wombat 4 Alpha Charlie Sierra at Largo, 145.170. You're going to see that populate up here in the number zero, number one spot. So we're going to click OK. Bango. So there it is. So those are all the repeaters. And you can see once you get past the 28 or whatever we had, this is all the way up to 127. These are blank and those are available. You can manually program that if you want. So we've got all of these in there. 
and it's got not only the uh, repeater uh, owner, typically it's the um, who's ever the trustee of the repeater, tones if they're necessary, what the tone is, uh, we've got DTS codes, what the offsets are going to be, things like that. So we like all of this stuff because we trust Radio um, re Repeater Book uh, online very well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go send that up to the radio. You notice this is uh, highlighted now so you can actually select it. So now we click Upload, COM3, we know all this is good. Click OK. If you haven't touched the radio, turned it off, disconnected the cable since we downloaded the um, uh, image file from the radio, you can just click OK now and it's going to upload again. Again, cancel this. Cloning, we're happy, happy, happy. We see the cloning box going and the little green progress bar of happiness. And uh, we like that. So what's happening now is all these stations that we just put in here from uh, the repeater book are being uploaded to the radio. Now, there's a couple other sites out there that you could do, and I need to figure out how to um, download from my favorite one for my Yezu uh, FT60 and the um, uh, uh, RT system software is uh, uh, k5ehx.net. So I'm going to figure out a way to get them. Uh, that working with chirp here and uh, we'll let you see that but anyway that's a quick and dirty way how to get programs uh, program your radio from local repeaters that are on the internet without doing it manually very very um, uh, quick and easy time-saving model once you get chirp up and running it's kind of hard um, actually I walked my friend AA of going home book fame uh, we worked on that this morning and got his uh, radio program so he can actually talk on it for the first time since he got his ham license all right, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know. Send me some emails, comments. Uh, go join uh, my website, uh, www.preparedham.com is the blog page, preparedham.com forward slash forums. If you look at the top of the page, you'll see a link to the forums. We've got uh, several thousand threads there about ham radio and prepping and what to do in case of emergencies, uh, uh, CERT, citizens emergency response team stuff, everything. Races, Aries, we're all about that stuff. So. Come on over to the website, check it out. Also got a Facebook page, um, ad uh, at preparedham.com. And again, this is Alpha Delta at preparedham.com. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, 73s, folks, see you down the road.